Today's job is in Central Palmer, busy road, parking permits were needed, all arranged, all paid for. Boys should be there at eight o'clock, ready to go, standard job. So it was a full demolition of the apartment and, and also some furniture to be removed out there. I didn't, I didn't even go upstairs on that no, job. I was no downstairs to see when the stuff's coming out the lift. Yeah, I was up and downstairs the first couple of times and then down, just downstairs. Um. Yeah, but it was a bit of a pain with the trucks. That it was. That was a bit mad. When we got there in the morning, we had reserved parking. Um, the architect had got us proper uh, printed off permits to park there. And we got there and there was loads of mopeds all parked in the way. So they called the old, we called the old bill to get them moved because obviously we couldn't start, we couldn't start the job. And I've got 10 blokes standing around waiting to be able to park the trucks there to be able to start the job line. Do what? Oh, we paid for those parking spaces. I've phoned the police, just get my, because I ain't having this, this is ridiculous. Right, what's, what, motorbikes blocking it and a van? Oh, well, all right, the van man's moving, right, good. Just get the police down and get the motorbikes because I have them lorries sitting on that road. On jobs where it's high up and we have to use the lift, uh, we have a protective foam that we attach inside the floor and the walls of the lifts. So obviously to protect the lift so we don't upset any residents and things like that. It was tiny, tiny one two bed apartment but really small and there was 10 men in there knocking it down carrying the buckets down the stairs five flights of stairs now getting in the lift then the lift yeah filling the lifts exactly exactly it's horrible when it is it, like working in a sauna I was guiding um, Slats and Sam, I had to guide them across the road because they've got buckets on the shoulders so their view of the road sometimes isn't as clear as mine. I'm standing up higher and on top of the lorry. Crossing the road into traffic with buckets is much better than going upstairs with buckets. <laughs> Well, Des definitely wouldn't have got run over because he don't leave the lorry. <laughs> uh, funny enough, my, my, fir my first year was my second year. Um, I was working on a deal with one of my best friends from back home and uh, we went through like 17 apartments in a year. And then it got to the point where we were like, look, I'm going home. I can't keep doing this. And then one of the, my old boss was uh, outside and Kerry walked past. He was Kerry as well at the same time. Yeah, my wife, yeah. Yeah. And uh, he just happened to mention that the two boys were looking for this place, a place to stay. And they were like, yeah, got a place. Walked into it, had the best aircon in Magaluf I've ever seen. Been there since. I've been living with Slad since. I met Damar in India, in Goa, or DJ in Goa. And Damar came over on holiday. And we had a really good time together. And I got back and all this COVID stuff had happened. And um, I had no DJ work. And I asked him if he had any work for me. I says, it's hard, mate. I says, I'll take it. Give me the job, which I really appreciate. And then I got Sam in. I can always rely on Slats and Sam, like they're a little double, like, like Ant and Deck, but I can always rely on them too. Like they just get it done. Like, that's what I like about it. Yeah, Sam and Slats seem to come as a pair because they're, they're often together, but they make their way to work together, go home together, they live together, so... They're not the same shit as each other, like, demolition-wise. 
And um, when there isn't anything, I wouldn't trust them on. Trojan, mate. Well, him and Sam, aren't Him they? and Sam together, bang, non-stop, non-stop, yeah. no moaning, just get on with the job. And, and they're funny. funny as hell. But really funny, guys. Hilarious. Really funny. Sam, lovely guy, yeah. Works really hard. We met him, we met him actually, he was working for another company doing some labouring. And we, we went to work for that company and he helped us for the day and uh, he ended up with a job with us. He's the PR manager of a busy bar down the strip, yeah. Trying to sell alcohol in Magaluf. There's, uh, there's a much harder jobs. <laughs> Slats is quite a funny person. He tells a few funny jokes. He's been here probably nearly longer than I've been alive, so. <laughs> yeah, he's got a bit, he's got a speaker. So when he comes to work and we need some uh, encouragement, he'll put his speaker on and stick his, his songs on, keep us going which is good. Obviously before all this COVID hit, I think he used to go to India quite often. 2017, I met, I met a girl in India and uh, she decided to move over here and then we went back to India and we got married on the beach in India. This bar where I drink, we always go there for sunset and there was about 40, 50 of us, all my mates. And uh, she says, yeah, you can set, set me for a date. But she had a hula hoop, which she takes everywhere with her. She's really good at it. She says, if you hula hoop, at sunset, in front of all your mates for five minutes, then you can set me for on a date. I only did it, didn't I? Worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Right, so the growers come along, put the bikes on the back, taking them away to the pound. Right, right, get the lorries into place, you start work. Good lad. Cheers, mate. Bye bye. They they turned up. I, I told them, listen, these are our spots. They checked the paperwork on the signpost. We was in the right. I told them, is there any possible way this could be sped up? Because we, we can't stop working. And they said that we, we can only do our best. We can only try as quick as we can. The council turned up pretty quick, but then they had to move one individual bike at a time. And I think there was like seven bikes. So. It's the same thing as like when you used to, when I was a kid, I remember if my mum put, if my mum put the oven on, the washing machine, and then decided to have a cup of tea and put the kettle on, that was it, the power would trip. Instead of using three Kangos and a grinder all at the same time, you can only use one Kango and one grinder at the same time. So then it's like, well, what do I do? I'll just let's leave the grind until the end then, and let's concentrate, we'll get three Kangos going, because the grinder's the thing which trips the electric most of the time. a hard day and now time to get Slats and Sam ready for their photo shoot. Good thing they both like 90s indie music. Why? Because for the first time we're gonna keep them separated. Nobody's gonna get the offspring reference. 